Hello, I'm Alex and this is a brief introduction to the Ecroche model and how to use it. This anatomy model was created to showcase all the major muscles and their attachment points. The core idea of this Ecroche is the ability to shrink muscles, like so, and have a better look of how the muscles attach to the bones. It was specifically created for character artists to use as reference and have a better understanding of human anatomy. So I'll quickly go over the features which are available in this blender scene. First of all, the animation slider activates the shrunken view of the muscles. So as you can see, the shrunk state of the shape key is being animated here. So this is done for all the muscles. And if you would like to go to each individual muscle, you can also just use that one slider to activate or deactivate uh, the muscle to the original state or go back to the shrunken view. And once again, to deactivate all of them, to go back to the original state, you simply slide uh, the timeline back to zero or frame one. So if I turn on the wireframe, you can see that the model is quite low poly, so it should run smoothly on any computer. And let me turn off the muscle layer, and you can see that the skeleton is also has a fairly low polygon model, and the whole scene consists of 66,000 faces or 132 triangles for the whole model of this Ecorche. Next, you can also switch between the standard muscle texture and the color-coded muscle texture. So to do this, you simply plug these two textures which are present in this Blender scene and plug them to the base color. And if I turn off the wireframe, you can see that this is the standard one, standard Ecorche muscles, and this is the color-coded texture which help us identify each muscle group with much more ease such as quadriceps, biceps of the legs, uh, the adductors, which are marked in of red colors here. And so this option is also available. Another feature is that you can turn off symmetry. To do that, you simply select one of the muscles and you can go to the modifiers tab. And in the mirror modifier, you click on this button to hide one half of uh, this particular muscle. So you can see better what's happening underneath uh, keep in mind that you also have option uh, to turn off the mirror in the edit mode or at render time. So make sure you have those turned on, on or off uh, based on your preference. So that's how you use the mirror modifier. You can also simply hide the desired muscles by pressing H on the keyboard. So if I select a bunch of muscles and hide them, I can use that to my advantage to see what's happening underneath and to unhide all of them you can press alt and h and this will unhide all the hidden objects in the scene you can also see that all muscles and the bones are organized in groups and have their correct names so this is a whole collection for the muscles you can turn that on and off and if i go to the muscles of the head you have a list of all the muscles which are named uh, muscles of the torso, you can simply just hide that one particular part uh, of the whole body by simply going to that collection and turning it off, or arms, legs, so you can see that every muscle is named, they're all organized, which makes it easier to work with. Same for the bones, you have all these the bone parts which are all organized in their particular groups. Lastly, I would like to touch on transparency, which can be also activated by going into the material settings. If I click on the material tab, I go all the way to the bottom of the settings and you need to change the blend mode from opaque to alpha hashed. And you can also turn on back face calling and then simply go to the alpha slider and you can specify how much of transparency you would like to achieve so you may see some of the underlying muscles through sort of this uh, transparency mode 
So alpha can be, transparency can be achieved that way. So I'm hoping this model will be useful to you on improving your knowledge of anatomy or for any other projects. If you have any questions about this model or suggestions on how it can be improved, please let me know in the comments. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.